But what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We got a lot of people hella excited about the PS5 Pro because the unboxing video ended up leaking out. We also got to talk about the GTA 6 as well. We got the gameplay, the graphics, comparison between the PS5, the PS5 Pro. People are also bringing up PlayStation 4 as well. And some people are also believing that it's going to be doing 60 FPS for GTA 6. A lot of people are believing that there is no way, there's not even a chance that it's going to be doing any of that, okay? But we're going to actually get into it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you actually just want GTA 6 uh, to be 60 FPS. Just like the video if you don't want it at 60 FPS. So. Uh, I want to know where you guys at, but shout out to the homie Dreamcast guy. Roll it. So this is coming from a bunch of different threats on Reset Era, and people have been leaking stuff via Discord. Essentially, people have decided to hook up to connect to the internet and do some updates with the PlayStation 5 Pro, and they're discovering these Holy. little extra things, like this. Nah, Enhance nah. the image quality for PS4 games. Now, it says Damn. here, you can improve the image quality of PS4 games. Finally, we're going to be able to take our GTA 5 PS4 disc and play on PS5 Pro with enhanced <laughs> mechanics and PS5 Pro update. That's that's lit. That's lit. To enjoy lit. higher quality gameplay for some games, turn this off Ooh. if you experience any unexpected behavior during your gameplay. Now, people are going, okay, how does this work? Yeah. What does this does actually this work, mean? Right? Now, we're going to take a look at some side-by-side -side comparisons, but the biggest thing that people are kind of thinking about is... How does this work? Now, the yeah. first thing I just want to throw out, from the games that have been tested thus far, it does not improve frame rate. Or if it does, people have not discovered stuff that boosts frame rate yet, which I must admit, that's what I would want most. I love higher... So this is the normal PS5, and this is the Pro version. Uh, where... Uh, uh, <laughs> Where is the difference, man? Where is the difference? Y'all suck is crazy, man. For 1,200 Canadian. I'm in Canada. Let me know where you guys are at, though. Let me know in the comments, man. Shout out to wherever you are, man. Shout out to my American viewers. Shout out to my Canadians. Shout out to my New Zealanders. Australians. Australia's mine! Shout out, uh, shout out to my UK homies as well. Let me know where you guys are at so I can shout you out as well, right? Do you think this is a big difference? <laughs> Do you think this is a big enough difference? Or you're, you're just gonna up the sharpness on your monitor and your TV to be able to play games thinking that you got PlayStation 5 Pro, but without actually spending $1,200. I wanna know where you guys are at with that, man. I, I wanna, I genuinely wanna know. Air frame rate is always better. Anything over 60, 60 is fine, but I, I think stuff when it manages to get into the hundreds, I think it makes a much smoother experience, especially yeah, with something like 100%. Dark Souls, or in this case, 100%. Bloodborne. It would be nice if you could have it even more up. Uh, I'm just a happy guy. Like, I I'd be happy with the games being good quality, 1080 and 60 FPS, though. I I'm sorry, guys. I I I'm 1080, 60, that works for me. That works for me. I know some of you guys want 4K, 60, 4K, 120, 8K, your mama, 120 FPS, 240 FPS. Bruh. Guys, for that, we would need PlayStation 100. The way they are struggling nowadays, I don't know, man. I just want a good game. Good gameplay, good story. Simple, 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 okay, simple. 1080, 60, I'm happy, okay, I'm happy. Uh, I, and I also love the, the aspect of, uh, hey, they got native 1080, or I should say native 4K ray tracing, ray tracing 30 FPS. That's like your fidelity. And then they also give us like the performance mode where it's like 4K dynamic, not native, but dynamic with 60 FPS. I, I think that's cool. That I, I think to me, that's odd. But whenever games comes out that are like, hey, you know, hey, best game, biggest game, biggest game of the year, 2024, and they couldn't even do 30 FPS. <laughs> then I'm like, hey, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's not the biggest game of the year. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you if you want 60 FPS. Dislike if not. I want to know where you guys at. Although for a single player game, I understand. For a single player game, maybe you want to just play the game at full like resolution, fidelity, right? Ray tracing, fully maxed out, 4K, 30 FPS. Maybe even 40 FPS if you're on PC with a specific graphics card that is allowing you to play max settings and, uh, you know, uh, perhaps not 60, but 40 FPS, right? I get that. I get that. But for like a multiplayer online game, it needs to be 60. I mean, every game is better at 60 FPS. Let me just keep a buck 50. Let me know your thoughts for sure. But, but uh, this is the game people plugged in first to see how much better it actually looks. Now, I do want to be clear. A lot of people are fixating on that part where it says, why does the text just say some games instead of all games? This is because of an ancient lawsuit. It's basically that if you say this improves all games, 
literally people will pixel test it and stuff. You don't want to get sued yeah. for false advertisement. So even when it comes to the original PlayStation 2, yeah. they had that texture filtering option. If you put PS1 games into a PS2, it would actually make them look ever so slightly better and a lot of times cut down on some of the load times and stuff. But it didn't affect all of them because some of them are just not able to be upgraded, right? Mm, even with the Xbox, yeah, even with PC, yeah. there's stuff that breaks. Well, this thing here is very interesting. So here's like an example of it. It seems like what's happening is one of the aspects of the PlayStation 5 Pro is a new engine of AI upscaling, an AI engine that actually makes extra frames, that makes stuff extra crisp. And what this essentially does is where you can get lower quality aspects and bump them up to 4K in mm. a way that doesn't break mm. the engine or mm. hurt the frame rate. It just ups oh, wow. the image quality. And when wow. you look at it, this side-by-side -side comparison, it's not going to completely blow your mind. It's not going to suddenly make, you know, PlayStation 4 games look like PlayStation 5 games, but they do look better. All right. I'm wow! Wow! Beautiful! That is crazy! Sheesh! Sheesh! Now listen, man. If GTA 6 turns out to be, let's just say, 30 FPS on the normal PS5 and Series X, and it turns out to be 60, however, on the PS5 Pro, it's debatable right now, based off of what, like, the gaming industry as a whole is saying right now. Some people coping right now, people looking like this, some people beefing, as sick as are beefing right now, everybody beefing, 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 some believing it's gonna stay 30 FPS on the PS5 Pro even. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, right? I, I hope that's not the case. I hope even on the normal PS5, it's 60 FPS, and, you know, it's 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro as well. But if it turns out that it's only 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro, then okay, I get it, right? But to buy PS5 Pro for just one game, uh, yeah, right? But to buy PS5 Pro, Pro for GTA 6, oh, hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? It depends on what games you're talking about, right? Because right now, we have a massive drought in the gaming industry. Not necessarily a drought, but it's just that every game that is coming out, you know, recently, Dragon Age, there's drama going around. Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC prior. We had, like, other games that came out, un un Unfinished, Buggy, filled with politics and this and that, right? So we had, like, a whole lot of drama. Like the video if you love games when they are woke, dislike, uh, or not woke, I should say. <laughs> Whoa. Bruh. Like the video if you don't want woke games. Dislike the video if you want woke games. I want to know, like, where you guys at with it. But if GTA 6 is actually good on PS5 Pro, then I think a lot of people are going to buy. A lot of people are going to get it. A lot of people are going to get it. But if there isn't, like, much of a difference, then there's literally no point in getting, though. You know, I want to know how many of you guys are buying in the last videos comments uh i'm seeing like approximately like 30 percent of you buying just calculating just assuming that based off of the replies that i got so yeah i mean it's fine it's uh, it's your money you do you that's fine i do want to look me, at this but... meme real quick because it is very funny people are making fun of the uh the old classic oh look how much it's upgraded you know looking at the game on versus base ps5 versus ps5 pro it's not that substantial but i do want to take a look at side-by-side -side comparison. So I have a side-by-side -side comparison, and then we're gonna take a look at the special filter that lets me do that. Okay, but first let's start with this. So this is with PS4 enhancements off and PS4 enhancements on. Certain details, the finest details of this, I think are noticeably better. I think the backgrounds, the environments, the fire, this stuff in my mind looks utterly identical. E even if this happens to somehow be higher resolution, it's not in any noticeable difference. Where it really comes down to it though, is in certain aspects of like the grain on this scarf, the whole headgear and stuff, I do think this stuff actually looks better. Let me do this side by side though. So ignore the fog. This was taken from a uh, PlayStation 5. They created a save file that came back to the exact same spot. Then they put it in a PS5 4 Pro. The point of this is not to show the difference in weather effects, because that's just definitely a, a breeze blew through here. It's to show the fact that definitely, when you look at some stuff, it does actually improve everything a little bit. Hmm. Even this stuff, when you kind of wiggle it back. I was wrong about the PS5 Pro video incoming by the homie uh, Dreamcast guy. No, no, make no mistake, it is better. It is better, but, but dog, $1,200, $1,200, <laughs> or $700 USD. Genuinely though, yeah, uh, even if you're buying the console uh, and you want to buy the console, that's fine. That's your money, right? I get I, I guess. Listen, man, I get it. Okay, I get it. I understand. Uh, but if you're buying, even if you're buying the console, do you think this is enough improvement? L let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is enough? I guess if you're not buying, then surely go ahead and let me know. But I, I'm assuming that you guys, the ones that are not going to buy, you guys are going to go crazy. You guys are going to be like, hey, man, but that's it. But that's it. <laughs> but that's it. You guys are going to be beefing big time in the comments. And I, I understandably, right? 
technically you can seriously right jokes said you can up the sharpness on your monitor and uh, and your tv and you can achieve greater results than this too even greater than uh, these results right right i'm right you're right we're all right here guys back and forth here it does look a little tiny 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 bit crisper tiny tiny it's still it like seems like it seems like that they honestly removed the fog a little bit the most substantial on the character model itself though right, right guys a lot of people are kind of Damn. interested in this though because sony themselves didn't really talk about this they basically said that this is the kind of thing where like uh, in the original blog post we're going to go to page one of this forum here this is reset era oh yeah i'm on uh, page one there was like one line where they talked about the fact that they were going to put these upgrades in but we didn't really know what it meant it just said like some upgrades to playstation 4 games will be seeable older games will get a boost i think the reason this is cool to me isn't that it's so game-breaking it's not that it's going to instant next gen patch i think yeah. i'm always fascinated by any always? console where you can take a game you already own you already love like dishonored on playstation 4 God, i love this game so much pop it into the ps5 and it looks and plays better now for some reason i've seen some sony people being like xbox can't do that uh it does the xbox series x has been doing this since launch i think they're, I, I back on xbox a lot just because i feel like they don't have games but the hardware of the xbox itself is good i don't know why people bag on the xbox series x like yeah it's a little bit underpowered in some aspects but it does upgrade older games it boosts i don't know why people bag on the xbox <laughs> My guy, my, you're always the first one to do it, and, and that's fair though. Listen, that's fine though. You know, that's fine though. But damn, I, the cool. quality, the resolution, and the frame rate of a lot of old games. There's some old Xbox games that run at 100 FPS, 120 FPS yeah, on the Series X. Yeah, I want to see that with yeah. the Pro. I want to see that with the PS5. The two questions. Go fully left. Go fully left. Go fully left. And of course, uh, we also had the unboxing video, right? We also had the unboxing video that I covered in this video. Check out this video on the screen. We talked about GTA 6, this unboxing video. The full video is available right here. If you have not seen it just yet, check it out and I'll see you right there. And they, they also showed like a feature that is available on the PS5 Pro that's not on PS5, so check it out.